Hello, hello. Hi, Ricardo. Hola, Miss. Hello. Okay. Good morning. <laughs> okay, welcome Hello, to Miss. your class. Hello. Okay, so let's see. Okay, open your book on page 48. Yeah, this is gonna stay to practice and also time to write. Today we discuss about these topics, yes, of your book. Yeah, for the book. Uh, let me share my class with you. Okay, I is not this one, is this one. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let me see this part. Okay. So EFL class, yes? Let me see, let's start. Okay, time to practice. In that case, so we are on page 48 and we practice uh, the different vocabulary that we learn in the unit, also some expressions. And we, let me see, learned about culture. Yeah, the culture of food in different countries. Yes? Okay, so let's see. Let's start. Okay, read and unscramble. Yeah, in that case, we read information and you have some letters in parentheses. So we need to unscramble and discover what is the country, yeah? Or maybe the nationality, okay? So culture facts, did you know? Okay, so we learned some information about this one. Okay, so let's see. A omelet has potatoes and egg. What do you think is the word in that part? A so we have in parentheses the letter H, A, P, capital S, I, M, S. What do you think is the country in that word? Okay, thank you, Daddy. Okay, the first one. Okay, let me check. What is that? A omelette has potatoes and egg. What do you think is the country or the nationality? So let's see, let's unscramble and you tell me. Okay. H A P capital S I N S. Let me Hello. Spanish. Spanish. Okay. So let me check if it is Spanish. Let's see. Yes, it's Spanish. Okay. A Spanish omelette has potatoes and eggs. Yes. Mm, delicious. Yeah. Okay. Second one. A omelette has only eggs. What do you think? What is a country? So you have R, H, E, and capital F right. and C. Ah, okay. Okay, <laughs> that's good. So let's see French. Yes, excellent. French. Yes, a French omelette has only egg. Okay, remember something. When you talk about countries and also nationalities, okay, so you write in capital letter. Yeah, the first letter you are in capital. So check this one. Yes, Spanish and French. Okay, next one. Ice cream was invented in, what do you think is the country? Ice cream was invented in? China. China, okay, yes, China. Ice cream was invented in China. Do you know this information that the ice cream was invented in China? Okay, so this one is new for me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> ah, yeah, okay. They create or they invent in the cell phone, okay. Let me see, a cheap computer, laptops, etc. Yes? Yeah, so you're very intelligent. They create a lot of things. <laughs> okay, I think all of us are intelligent, yeah? So we create different things, different, uh, let me see, supplies, etc. But what is the difference? Because this country, okay, China, has a lot of possibilities to buy different things. And also, okay, the majority of the people has a lot of money, yeah, okay? This, this one is the different, okay? They can buy a lot of things. And here, for example, in El Salvador, we don't buy, let me see, different technological supplies. So we don't have enough money for buying this one. For example, a printer, yeah? Do you know that we have a 3D printer? Okay, if I can print my hand, I only take a picture, okay? And the printer start, 
yeah? Similar my head, but this one is cost a lot of money, yeah? Okay, so let's continue. Next one, has more than 500 different kind of cheese. What is that? What is a country? Okay, this country has more than 500 different kind of cheeses. Do you know what is a country? And this country is famous for that. France. Okay, France, yes. Okay, France. France has more than 500 different kind of cheeses. Okay, in different sizes, in different tastes, and also smell. <laughs> okay, did you know that we have, okay, France has a cheese that the smell is not good, okay, so it's terrible, but the flavor of the cheese is delicious, yeah? Okay, <laughs> queso azul, do you know what is this one? <clears throat> Okay, yes, specifically the smell is <laughs> not good. Okay, so let's continue. In Buniol, okay, what is that country? People throw tomatoes at each other during their annual festival. <gasps> okay. Spain. Spain. Okay, Spain, yes. In Spain. Spain, people throw tomatoes at each other during the annual festival. Okay, I consider that people can eat the tomatoes, yeah? Don't throw. Tomatoes are delicious. It's not necessary to do this activity. Okay, my baby, if this one is a tradition, that's good. Yes, here in El Salvador, um, let me see a tradition about food. For example, in festivals, okay, when the towns are celebrated a festival, uh, they let me see, generate competitions of food, okay? How many pupusas can you eat? Yeah, you win a thousand of dollars. How many, let me see, tacos can you eat? How many empanadas can you eat? How many tortas can you eat? Mexican tortas can you eat? Yeah, and you win a prize. Yes, okay. Next one, introduce chocolate to the world. What is the country? Mexico. Mexico. Okay, Mexico. 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 Imagine Mexico. Mexico introduce chocolate to the world. Mexicano. No. No. Mexico. Um, okay, and do you know that the best chocolate is from, let me see, Guatemala and Belize? Ecuador. Me, donde está la fábrica de Willy Wonka. Ecuador, too. Yeah, this one is the best. Vamos a ir un día. Ah, the Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. ¿Sí? Yeah, this one is the movie. <laughs> okay, yeah, I saw the movie. Yeah. <laughs> okay, for that reason, I know about this one. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Next one. The average. What is next country? Italia. Ah, okay. Italian. The average Italian person eats more than 25 kilograms of pasta every day. Okay, that's mean this one is a big dish, yeah? Maybe a big bowl, a big container. 25 kilograms of pasta every year, imagine. Yes, okay. Maybe we can eat this one. Okay, I'm happy if you put on my table, okay, pasta, bolognese specifically, okay, lasagna, all of this one, canelones, yeah, delicious. So, <laughs> yeah, I travel to Italy, yeah? Okay, so let's review this part. So a Spanish omelet has potatoes and eggs. French omelet has only eggs, yes? Okay, here in El Salvador, we prefer omelets, but with cheese inside, yeah? Quesillo, yeah, okay. Or maybe we put American cheese. Okay, ice cream was invented in China. This one is an interesting fact. Okay, France has more than 500 different kinds of cheeses. Okay, in Buñol, Spain, people throw tomatoes at each other during their annual festival. In Mexico, introduce chocolate to the world. And also, okay, the average Italian person eats more than 25 kilograms of pasta every year, yes? Okay, I consider that all the food that I presented here is delicious, yes? Okay, so let's see, let's continue. Okay, do you finish this part? Yes? 
Okay, that's good. Excellent. So let's see. Let's continue. Okay, let's check this one. This one are time expressions, okay, that we use when we talk about, um, let me see, the time that you uh, put in practice different activities. For example, uh, the quantity of time, yeah, when you say the question, how long, how much, etc. So this one are different time expressions. When you talk about in past, you say in the past, a long time ago, the day before, yesterday, uh, let me see, in 2020, for example, we can say in 2020, uh, El Salvador suffered pandemia, yes? Yesterday, I took my EFL classes, okay? A little while ago, an hour ago, an hour ago, I take my reading class, okay? This morning, I ate cereal, yes, okay? Uh, one week ago, Mm, I have my evaluations. Last week, I, let's see, practiced basketball. Yes, it's possible. This one is in past. In present, nowadays, this day, right now, right now, okay, we are taking our EFL class. Today, today we need to send the evidence of EFL. Yeah, this week, this week is the uh, 23rd week of classes. This year, this year, I took my fifth grade. At the moment, I am speaking English, yes? Okay, all of this gonna actually in present. And in future, what are the expression that you use? Next month, next year, in an hour, soon, okay? The day after, tomorrow, okay? Eventually, tomorrow, next week, etc. Okay, all of this one are time expression. Remember yesterday we discussed about how long and you tell me, okay? Twice a week, once a week, every day, five times a week. Also, this one are time expression that you use when you talk about on a specific topic, yeah? But you need to use the expression in past if you talk in past. The time expression in present if you use a present tense of a verb. Or the time expression in future if you talk about future, similar to will, do you remember? Okay, I will travel to Europe next year. Yes, this one is a time expression in future, okay? Excellent. So let's see. Now let's continue. We listen in match. Okay. So we practice this part. How long does it stay to? Okay. So we use time expressions in that case. Okay. For example, nine hours, two days, nine, 20, uh, 77 seconds, and one minute. Okay. So let's see. I, uh, let me see. This one are the answers, but I don't put anything because I can't and it is necessary that you guess. Okay. So let's see. How long does it take to fly from Mexico to Great Britain? Okay. So we listen. Now let's check. Okay. For example, this one is a conversation. So you listen and you try. Okay. Too much. Hi, dad. Can I ask you some question? Sure. How can I help you? How long does it take to fry an egg? Okay, mm, I'm not sure. I think it takes about one minute. Okay, so you match fry an egg with one minute. Yes? Okay, this one is the first action. Okay, yes, this one fry an egg with one minute. Yeah? Okay, let's continue. And how long does it take to run 100 meters in record time? Uh, records change all the time, but it takes about nine minutes, 77 seconds. Yeah, this one is the next one. Okay, that's mean run 100 meters in a record time. In that case, this one is, okay, nine minutes, 77 seconds. Okay. Next part, okay, next question. How long does it take to get to the moon in a spaceship? Okay, it depends how fast the spaceship okay. is. Okay, but it takes more or less two days. Yeah, two days. Okay, so this one is enough time, yeah? Two days. Okay, and the last one. Wow, and the last question, how long does it take to fly from Mexico to Great Britain? Nine hours in a jumbo jet. Great, let's go. Okay, imagine travel from Mexico to Great Britain, nine hours. Okay, this one is, let me see, a long time. 
Yeah. Okay, nine hours. Okay, so you have this question. How long? Cuánto tiempo? Okay, that's meaning if you talk about distance, if you talk about time. How long does it take to fry an egg? Okay, and the answer is one minute. How long does it take to get to the moon in a spaceship? Okay, two days. How long does it take to run 100 meters in a record time? Nine minutes, 77 seconds. And how long does it take to fly from Mexico to Great Britain? This one is nine hours, yeah? Okay, let me see, I have some questions for you. How long does it take to uh, travel from San Salvador to Usulután? Do you know? Okay, imagine that you, let me see, take a trip, okay? How long does it take? to travel from San Salvador to Usulután. Uh, let me see, is this going one hour? Mm, no, two hours? Mm, maybe, okay. Around three hours, yes, to travel from San Salvador to Usulután. Four hours. Four hours, okay, yeah, it's possible. Let's see, how long does it take to uh, let me see, to your home, to the school, de su casa al colegio, how long? 15 minutes. 15 minutes. 15 minutes, okay, excellent. <laughs> That's good. No, no, okay. 10 minutes. 5 minutes. 5 minutes, okay, excellent. So that's good. <laughs> okay, excellent. So let's see. And how long does it take to, um, let me see, to play basketball in an official match? Okay, how long? Two hours. Two hours, okay. Excellent, okay. And how long does it take to, let me see, solve an, a test? Okay, in Google Forms. <laughs> so you develop your test in Google Forms, yeah? Okay. Sus evaluaciones son en Google Forms. Okay, ¿cuánto tiempo le toma hacerlas? It's the pen. Depende, okay. mis cual sea. Okay, it's the pen of the subject. Yes, for example, in math tests, okay, you develop a lot of time, yeah? You spend a lot of time in that part, okay? Excellent. So let's see now. Let's listen to the sun. Okay, this one is a sun, and we have the chorus here. I'm a pilot, I'm a pilot flying across the sky, Europe, Asia, or Africa. I see them from up high. Every week I'm up again. Spain, England, and Germany. Once a month, twice or three times. China, Japan, and beautiful Bali. Today I'm here in Mexico. Tomorrow it's Beijing. How nice. It takes me just a few hours to go from tacos and fried rice. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let me share with you my sound and let's listen. Yes? Okay. Track 45. Sing a song. I'm a pilot, I'm a pilot, flying across the sky. Europe, Asia, or Africa, I, I see, see them from, from up high. <laughs> okay, imagine that you play the drums, yeah? Every week I'm off again, Spain, England, or Germany. Once a month, twice or three times, China, Japan, <laughs> or beautiful Bali. I'm a, I'm a pilot, pilot I'm, I'm a, a pilot, pilot flying right across the, the sky. sky. Europe, Asia, or Africa, I, I see them from up high. Today I'm here in Mexico, tomorrow it's Beijing. How nice. It takes me just a few hours to go from tacos to fried rice. I'm a pilot, I'm a pilot, flying across, across the, the sky. sky. 
Europe, Asia, or Africa, I see them down on high. Okay, so this one is the sound, yeah? <laughs> the rhythm is good, yeah? El ritmo está bien. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Now, let's continue. Okay, so time to write, yeah? In that case, this one is how to make paella, okay? Do you like to eat paella? Okay, did you enjoy paella? Yes or no? No. No. Okay. No. Yeah. Delicious. Okay. This one is a combination. Okay. Of different food. Yes. Okay. So you put chicken. Uh, let me see. Garlic. Rice. Uh, let's see. Fish. Etc. Yeah. So this one is delicious. Okay. Look and number the pictures. Okay. So let's see. We have the different pictures here. Okay. And we have. Uh, let me see. What do you think is the first one? Okay. Let me check. Okay, the first picture is, let me see. I think you have all the ingredients, yeah? And the, mm -hmm. the ingredients, okay, the ingredients are in the stuff. Then we have the second one, okay, that this one is a, okay, yes. Maybe this one is cooking. And the third one is the paella. And the last one, okay, you chop. Okay, so let's see, let's discover what is the, correct order of this picture, yeah? Read the recipe to check. Okay, first, chop and fry the chicken. When it is almost cooked, put it in a separate dish. Okay, what do you think? One, two, three, or four? In the order that appear here. Four, four. Four, four. you think, okay, you think it's four. Four, four, four. Okay, let me check, yes, it's four. Okay, first, you chop and fry the chicken. When it is almost cooked, put in a separate dish. Okay, number two. Wow. Then, fry some onions, garlic, tomatoes, and green peppers. And the kid chicken and some water and cook for five minutes. Okay, you say that is the first one, yeah? Okay, let me check. Yes, it's this one. Okay, number two. Number three, next... Add rice and boil in it until it is soft. The cube. Okay, the second picture that we have here. Yes, okay, is this one? That's mean the last one is that picture, yeah? Finally, put your paella on a big plate. Decorate with some lemons. Your paella is ready to eat, yeah? <laughs> okay, so let's see. In that exercise okay this one is a recipe okay you follow different steps and you use different verbs yes so we circle the linking words what is a linking word so we study this one in language yeah a linking word is a word that you use for connecting some ideas okay or for putting in order the ideas for example we have first this one is the first linking word yeah so you circle please okay first primero yes then we have then, that's mean, we follow with that. Next, and we have finally, yes? All of these one are linking words. Okay, another linking words are when you say, okay, first, second, third, finally, yes? So in order, is possible to use? Yes. Linking word is a word that introduces an idea, in that case, for example, first comma, chop and fry. Then comma, fry some onion. Next comma, add rice. And finally comma, put your paella on a big plate. Yeah, that's when you follow an order in that part. Yes, okay. So this one is a food and this one is delicious. Yes, I think paella is delicious. Okay, so let me check, let's continue. Okay, in that part, you look and write a recipe. Okay, how to make a fruit salad. This one is the recipe that we create today. How to make a fruit salad. Okay, so you have grapes, 
apples, bananas, strawberries, yogurt, okay, resins, yes. And you have different pictures here with the possible steps that you follow, yeah. Okay, so you follow the picture, yes, and you create your own recipe. Va a seguir las imágenes y va a crear su propia receta, yes. Okay, how to make a fruit salad. So you use the, all the ingredients that you have here. Grapes, apples, bananas, strawberries, yogurt, and resins. Yes? Okay, so let's see. For example, okay, what do you think is the first step? So remember to use a linking word. What is the first step? Wash the fruits. Ah, okay, first wash the fruit. Yes, it's possible, okay. First, wash the fruit, okay? The grapes, the strawberries, okay, that's good. What is the second step? Remember the verbs that we said in the unit. Peel, chop. Okay, first, you wash the grapes and the strawberries, then, we use a, a link word. Okay, let me see the second picture. What is this one? This one is an apple, yeah? Peel. Ah, peel, peel the apple and the, the banana. banana. Okay, peel the apple and the banana. In the third picture, what is that? Next. Mm, slice. Okay, yeah, it's slice or maybe chop, okay, chop. Which one? Chop the apple and slice the banana. Yes. Okay. The first one is chop the apples. Then you slice the banana. Then you put all the fruit in a bowl. Yeah. Then you mix and finally you add yogurt uh -huh. okay and resins so let's see this one is possible answer yeah this is an example okay first wash the grapes and the strawberries then you peel the apples and the bananas next you chop the apples and slice the bananas put the fruit into a bowl mix the fruit and finally add yogurt and resins. Yes? Okay. So let's see. So you create in that part. Okay. So let's see. So you write a short recipe, yeah? About this one. Okay, I give you enough time, yeah? Okay, first you wash the grapes. Okay, we follow the pictures, yes? And the strawberries. Then, peel the apples. Remember these verbs, okay, we learned in the first part of the unit. And the bananas. Next, chop the apples. And slice the bananas. Then, okay, you put the fruit into a bowl. Mix the fruit. And finally, you add the yogurt and raisins. Yes. Okay, excellent. Okay, so let's see. Remember, you write with cursive letter, yeah? Okay, you did it? Yes. 
Ok, excelente. Suele yo. Ok, that's good. Finish. Excelente. Okay, so you tell me when you finish, yes? Okay, this is really an easy recipe, yeah? <laughs> okay, we have all the elements. I think it's delicious, this salad. Which other ingredient do you add? Maybe, let me see. I add some kiwis, yes? Okay. Or maybe I add, let me see, uh, granola. Yes. Finish, okay, Mario. Thank you. I don't like the granola. This one is <laughs> Okay. Ah, my favorite fruit is strawberry and also watermelon. I enjoy watermelon. <laughs> okay, tell me. What is your combo favorito? Combo? Um, of hamburger? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, bacon. Bacon hamburger. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, tell me. <laughs> okay. Y se viene promoción en Wendy. Quiero ver. Ya, ya hace como un mes de que están al dos por uno las hamburguesas. Mm -hmm. En la que en la que hicimos una gran fila como de una hora. Bueno. Cuando ya le llegamos a pedir, solo eran tres, por, tres promociones las que se podían, o sea, uh -huh. eh, solo se podían llevar, o sea, tres, tres de esas. La cuestión de que cuando nos pusimos a pensar, yo me puse a pensar, si literalmente están regalando hamburguesas, ¿por qué no solo dan las regaladas? <risa> ok, and you don't pay anything, yes. Ajá. <risa> uh -huh. Mm, yeah, it's a good point. <laughs> Un buen punto ese. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Okay, did you complete this part? Yes? Yes. Okay, okay, excellent. Yes, Carlos. Okay, for example, when you have, let me see, a sale, okay, una promoción, uh, and you have, let me see, uh, imagine that this pen, okay, costs, let me see, $1.99. Okay, one dollar ninety nine is spent. Wow, this one is a super sale. Yeah, but really, you pay two dollars. Okay, in realidad para dos dólares, no uno noventa y nueve. ¿Qué le qué le quedan qué le dan de viendo? Okay, o qué le dan de cambio? Un centavo, si yo no. En realidad pago dos dólares. Okay, entonces no es como una gran promoción porque solo por un centavo usted no paga, eh, digamos por completo el otro dólar. Yeah. Okay, for example, when you say seven, okay, this one, this laptop costs, and let me see, uh, this one is an example, yeah, Two, $299, yes, but it's almost third, uh, let me see, 300, yeah, only by one cent. Solo por un centavo no cuesta los 300, entonces no es una oferta, yeah. <laughs> okay, yes, the majority of company play with our mind. Juegan con nuestra mente. Yes. Y por ejemplo, si yo me pusiera a vender algo, le dijera, qué sé yo, como dice, dijo Carlos Armando, antes, este, cinco dólares, ahora en 4.99, pues sí, le estoy quitando un centavo. Un centavo más rico va a ser. Ok, yes, this one is true. Ok, that's good. So let's see, let me stop short this part and let me see who is playing. Ok, Elías estaba jugando, yes. Ok, Elías. No, you mi yo iba. Mm, ok. <laughs> so let me check this part, yes. Ok, so let's see, Elías. 
Let me see. I sent uh, the link, yeah? Okay. Le voy a enviar el enlace, okay? Para que usted lo pueda jugar ahí en casita. Si puede ingresar okay. ahorita, lo okay. puede hacer y jugamos de manera individual, okay? Let's see. Okay, Elias, are you ready? Elias, are you there? Está por ahí, Elias. Sí, aquí está. Ok. <ríe> Muy bien, vamos a ver, vamos a jugar. Recuerda que tenemos tiempo, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, es su turno, ya fue el turno de las chicas, ahora vamos con los chicos. Ok. So, we skip the advertisement. Ok, vamos a quitar. And hundred. Okay. okay, ya vamos, ya vamos. Vamos a ver, Elías, Hugo, Paco y Luis, los de la caricatura Disney son sobrinos de quién? Cerquita. No, yo estaba viendo Donald. la serie. <ríe> okay, Elías, dame la respuesta. Vamos a ver, recuerda que tiene tiempo. Ok, como la mayoría quiere jugar, lo vamos a hacer entre los chicos. Ok, entre todos los chicos. Vamos a ver, Hugo, Paco y Luis, los de la caricatura. Son sobrinos de... Donald. Donald. Ok. Yes. Ok, so let's see. Now. One thousand. ¿Cuál de estos no crece en un árbol? Tomate, cereza, manzana, pera. Tomate. Tomates. Tomate. No crece okay. en un palo. <laughs> Ah, ok. Espérate. 2000. Ok. 2000 dólares. ¿Cómo se llaman los científicos que estudian los volcanes? A, B, C o D. Eh, volcanífico. Volcanífico. <risa> Volcano. Ok. A, B, C o D. Ni que no me deja ver la pantalla, no la puedo A mí también. Ah. Volcanólogo. Ah, volcanólogo. Ok. Denle la barra espaciadora. Ok. 3000. Vamos a ver. ¿Cuál es la capital de Canadá? Rusia. No están las opciones. Ok. Vancouver, Dawson, Montreal, Ottawa. Montreal. Montreal. Ok. Yo soy Montreal. Yes. Ok, una oportunidad más. 5 mil dólares. Ah, um, ok, let me see. Es Dawison, es Dawison. Ok, let me check. Ok, Carlos, let's see. Ay, vamos a ver. Necesitamos elegir uno. Ok, no, tenemos que comprarla. No, no tenemos dinero. Vamos a ver si me deja continuar. Hace un ratito sí me dejó porque créame que lo jugué. <ríe> vamos a hacerlo. <ríe> Ok, no lo puedo cerrar. No lo permite. Ay, no. <ríe> ok, vamos a ver. A mí sí, solo puedo sí. llegar a los cinco mil. El piso que yo gane me lo van a venir a dejar a la casa, ¿verdad, mija? Y puso mi dirección, ¿verdad? Quisiera. Seríamos millonarios. Nos vamos a comer un combo. <ríe> Ey, mi, ¿verdad que nos van a dejar venir a dejar los a la casa? No, 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 ok, vamos a ver. Ciencia social que estudia los procesos de producción, distribución, comercialización y consumo de bienes y servicios. O oh, esto es sociología, sociopolítica, economía o democracia. Economía. 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 Estudia en el pisto. Sí. Siguiente. Ok. Vamos a ver. Ser o no ser, hace parte del primer verso del monólogo de Hamlet, Ricardo III, Los Alegres Comadres, Romeo y Julieta. ¡Ay, yo sí la sé! <ríe> Pero no se la voy a decir. Hacer, 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 no, yo no sé de historia. Ok. Ricardo III. No. Ricardo III. A la tienda de Intedo Pingüe, mi porque no sé de Ricardo III. Ricardo III. Ricardo III. Ah, ok, muy bien. No, esto es de Romeo y Julieta. Ser o no ser, estar o no estar. Ok. 
Ah, vamos a ver. Ah. <ríe> ok, ya casi terminamos. Bien. Muy bien. Si puedes seguir jugando, hágalo. Sí, aprendemos mucho así. Ok, como chicos, no, un gusto verles. He descubierto un montón de juegos que tiene esa página. Mira, como mm, nosotros sí. no estamos okay. estudiando biología, por ahora. Ah, no, no, pero sí podemos ah. aprender. Nos vemos la próxima semana, chicos. Bendiciones. Un abrazo. Como no tenemos nada de Ok, bye, bye. Cuídense. Ok, bye.